Hola, this is your Good News Roundup. We bring you news of a project harnessing rainfall to provide a reliable water source for schools in Venezuela. The news that if you want to start exercising more, you may simply need a more active friend. Zimbabwe's key move to fight AIDS. Confirmation from Apple that it will abandon its lightning port in order to make the USB Type-C cable standard and a US study showing that video gaming may be associated with better cognitive performance in children. Many people in Venezuela, my home country, struggle to get a reliable water supply because of the recurrent problems with the networks operated by state-owned companies. At Unidad Educativa Nuestra Señora del Encuentro, a school in Petare, one of Venezuela's largest poor neighborhoods, the supply of water was so precarious that students had to bring water from home to drink and wash their hands during the day. But then, the Lata de Agua project arrived. Lata de Agua started operating back in 2019 in three schools and one outpatient clinic with the aim of using rain to bring a constant flow of clean water to communities. Lata de Agua is a model of suministro de agua, sustainable, alternative, complementary, a partir de la captación, almacenamiento y tratamiento del agua de lluvia en las comunidades vulnerables y sus instituciones. Siempre tuvimos escasez de agua, nosotros pasábamos de 3, 6, hasta a veces 8 meses sin el líquido y ahora con el proyecto Lata de Agua eh, tenemos un flujo de agua constante, cuando no tenemos agua de la turería contamos con agua de, del proyecto Lata de Agua, que es el agua de lluvia y por este motivo ya no suspendemos actividades escolares, trabajamos nuestra jornada diaria. The collected rainwater has changed the lives of the students and their teachers. They also use the water to irrigate their own vegetable patch, which helps to feed their 850 students. Pero gracias a esto podemos tener mejor siembra, mayor resultado y lograr de esta manera una mejor alimentación. A group of researchers have developed a mathematical model that says active friends are a critical factor in increasing our physical activity. The researchers were curious to know why Americans still do not appear to be meeting the recommended amount of minutes of exercise, despite the widely known health benefits. So they looked into it, and this is what they found. A complete absence of social influence results in long-term sedentary behavior and even a decline in physically active populations. Social interactions between sedentary and moderately active groups were the most important factor encouraging relatively inactive people to become physically active and to stay that way. On the other hand, social interactions encouraging moderately active individuals to become sedentary often put an end to exercise routines altogether. The good news for you is that to get back on the running machine, you might just need a more active friend. And this news may also provide a new way for governments and organizations to boost public health programs by focusing on community activities. Zimbabwe has become the first country in Africa and the third in the world after Australia and the US to approve an HIV prevention drug called Kabla recently recommended by the World Health Organization as a safe and highly effective prevention option for people at substantial risk of HIV infection. In African countries, people most at risk of HIV include sex workers and LGBTQ communities, which are sidelined from access to healthcare because of laws and societal segregation. In controlled trials, the use of CAPLA resulted in a 79% relative reduction in HIV risk compared with oral PrEP, another preventive medication that needs to be taken daily, which often poses a challenge. Zimbabwe has launched a major battle against HIV, launching an ambitious plan to end AIDS by 2030. And they have made impressive progress in reaching a target known as 90-90-90. 90 percent of people living with hiv knowing their status 90 percent getting antiretroviral treatment and 90 percent having the virus suppressed according to the country's national aids council zimbabweans have already seen aids related deaths fall from an estimated 130,000 in 2002 to 20,000 in 2021 
A few episodes back, we covered the environmental deal by the European Union to impose a one-type-fits-all standard port for smartphones, tablets and laptops, sold in the blog by the end of 2024. Here's a little recap. European officials have agreed on a deal to impose a one-type-fits-all standard port for smartphones, tablets and laptops sold in the block. Thanks to a recently agreed deal, the nest of cables in your suitcase might soon be reduced to a single charger. It's a win-win for reducing both frustration and e-waste, electronic waste, which is the fastest growing waste stream in the developed world. Resistance has mostly been from Apple, who are most affected by the move. The good news update on that story is that Apple has confirmed that it will abandon its lightning port in the future and switch the iPhone to USB Type-C to meet European standards. Numerous studies have linked video gaming to behavior and mental health problems. But a new study of nearly 2,000 children suggests that cognitive benefits may also be associated with gaming. Researchers have found that children who play video games for three or more hours per day perform better on cognitive skills such as impulse control and working memory than those who do not or have never played. The researchers also say that while previous studies reported associations between video gaming and increases in depression, violence, and aggressive behavior, they did not find that to be the case, and that this association was not statistically significant. The sister study does not allow for cause and effect, meaning it could just be that children who are good at these types of cognitive tasks may choose to play video games. But they point out that further research is needed because the neurobiological mechanisms are not yet fully understood. If you found value in this Good News Roundup, let us know in the comments and share this episode with your friends. And remember, it can be hard to find among the headlines, but some news can be good news.